Hey, hi everyone, this is Vivek. In this particular video, we'll talk about five specific things that you can do to make sure that your practice on code forces is way more efficient. Now, these are things that you can do at the very start or even now if you have been doing it for a long time because many students come up to me and ask me, Vivek, I have been doing practice for a long time but I'm not seeing improvements and I kind of sit down with them and troubleshoot key what is the issue and this is these are the top few things that you can change immediately, right? So we'll talk about uh, certain setting changes that you should do immediately when you start code forces for practice. Number two, uh, we'll talk about certain extensions, three extensions that you should install. And number three, we'll talk about we, how should you practice, right? The practice regime that you can follow. This is my recommendation. There are tons of other ways in which you can do it as well. Uh, like these are, but it's going to be absolutely from code forces problem set and how you can pick and solve problems. This has been giving better results than like doing random practice uh, because most people are confused. Where should I practice? Um, I'll just give you a very, very simple regime that you can follow. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Before that, obviously, I should address the question that you guys might be thinking, Vivek, why are you all green today? So I was tinkering with gamma rays and I thought maybe if it works for banner, maybe it might work for me too. And seems like it works, isn't it? Just kidding. This is just a simple, like, I was playing around with, like, features here and there. And as, as I just explored on hue shifts and I thought, okay, okay. maybe being green for, for the day, uh, I'm anyways a Marvel fan, so being green for the day uh, would be a really good way to make the video and then um, if things go well if you guys like it maybe I'll be the green professor you all always wanted isn't it okay let's get started with the actual video now okay the first point that you need to change in your code forces settings is tags okay I feel most students can't perform well in contest, but they are practicing a lot and still not improving because they see tags. This is the biggest problem with all sheets that exist. This is the biggest problem with all practice that many of the students are doing. They are doing it only tag wise. I mean, tags are helpful to be to filtering questions when you are practicing initially and it's, it's going to help you to like learn that topic. But in general, when you are doing practice, you should not see the tags of the problem, right? And think about a real contest. You will not have the tags to help your brain to figure out which topic should I use in this problem, right? If you see a tag in a problem written binary search, your brain automatically thinks in the terms in terms of binary search. And believe me when I say this, deciding which topic this problem falls into is the 50% solving part of the problem, right? So if it's already given to you uh, in the practice, you are never building that muscle for yourself. So the first thing you should do is you should go to your profile, right? You go to your code forces account, right? Let's go there and you go to your change settings and you can go to Ha show tags for unsolved problems, uncheck it, and then save the changes, right? So this is something that will make your problems not show the tags which they are. So now if you go to your problem set, you will see that there are no more tags being shown for problems unsolved, okay? You can still filter by tags and stuff, so that will help you select problems, but you would not be able to see the ideas that is being used Right earlier, if you go back over here, you would see a small box which shows uh, which tag this problem is. And so, so while reading the problem, your eyes automatically catch hold of those texts and tells you that this is the topic to think about. You should not do that, no. So this is one particular thing that you should immediately change if you are somebody who wants to grow. If you are already senior and you are just going through code forces not to improve but just to skim through, then maybe this is something you can turn on, right? For senior programmers, this doesn't really make much difference because anyways, a hard problem of let's say 20, 100 plus is hard enough irrespective of you know the topic or not to some degree, right? So it's, um, it's mostly for beginners because you want to train yourself on detecting problem types, right? So this is the first change that you need to do, right? Let's move to the next one. 
The next thing that you want to do is install this extension called CF Analytics. If you just search, you will find it. I will also add the links of all the extensions I'm talking about in the links below. Now this CF Analytics is something that adds bunch of important like numbers to your profile page. So if you go to your profile page after installing the extension, not just your own, anybody's profile page, you'll be able to see this beautiful two chart. One is their activity and the other is their rating graphs, like the problems of the rating that you have solved. And how many problems of which topic have they solved, right? So this is something that you can try and install and then based on that, you can get some important data, right? So for somebody who is starting out, being regular on code versus is something that can be a good metric. So you want to maintain uh, streaks, right? And you want to make sure that you can solve more, pro at least one problem every day or more problems every day, right? Uh, then one of the most important things that I feel predicts growth is how difficult of a problem are you solving? So generally, if you see uh, people have a peak in this kind of a graph, wherever you are, your peak is, you cannot generally grow beyond plus 200 of that in general, right? So you, sh you ideally want to solve more problems of rating higher than your current rating, right? So that your graph shifts towards the right and you start growing towards higher rating levels, right? So this is something that you can kind of follow. This is pretty interesting to see. Plus you can see the tags that are solved. You can also do some analysis and see which tags are fairly important about a certain problem, about a certain level. Let's say you're not able to solve div 2a and div 2a's are generally just brute force, uh, greedy and things like this, right? Implementation and all. So you can search for those tags and practice problems on those tags, but you need to know which tags have you practiced and which tags are relevant. So this at least gives you the tags that are, that you have practiced on, right? You can also see others profile and see what they have practiced on so that they are performing well. Okay. Well, that's not a good metric technically, but then still at least you, you will get some idea, right? So this is the first extension that you should try and install, right? Let's move to the next one. A very simple extension that you can install after this is this carrot because many students uh, generally give a contest and then they feel anxious about, uh, okay, what is going to be the rating change till the actual rating change comes in. So this basically predicts the rating change uh, and it enhances the rank list. So this is one thing that just helps your contest environment improve. Like when you are giving the contest, you will not be too much worried after the contest that, okay, is am I get, going to get rating plus or minus? There will be not much of suspense. After the contest, you will know that whether your rating is going to increase or not to some degree. So this predicts fairly well. And uh, the metrics, the like numbers are very, very close to what your actual prediction would be in general, your actual rating change would be. So this is one thing that just removes the anxiousness about rating change of the beginners. And I feel just helps, right? So I'll link this down below, install this on your extension and that should be good enough, right? Let's move to the next one. Okay, so the next extension that I'll, I'll recommend you all to like install is this code forces enhancer. This basically like changes the leaderboards a little bit and helps you to detect certain data quickly, right? So there are three main things that it does. So if I just quickly uh, see the extensions image, I can show it on my also, but I was, I've installed it. But generally the purpose is this, that you have like the language of the code being submitted over here mentioned that, okay, this person solves these problems in Java, this person has solved it in C++ and all. So you can only open the problems of C++ and read them quickly while, while you're up solving the problems, right? If you have to do that. Next is it just hide solve problem. It just gives a shortcut over here so to do that. And uh, it also has this fancy feature of like comparing multiple people's rating on the same graph. Uh, I think that's too fancy to not, not much required, but then like the other two, the first one itself just helps you save some time that you are going to be able to see the language of the program and like open accordingly. It saves just some time, right? So these were the three extensions that we talk about. Next, let's move to the final tip, which is how should you practice or how should you pick problems? Because this is something that I feel many people mess up in their practice regime, right? Let's talk about that. Okay, so let's move to the final tip, which is Vivek, I want to practice on code forces, how I can do that, right? So there are like tons of advices I can give on this one, but I'll talk about like top few things, which I feel brings the most impact, right? Everybody says that you need to practice, but which problems you practice on determines how you are going to be at the end of your practice regime. I can hands down say this. Number two, how do you 
actually extract maximum out of every problem is also very very important okay so that you can detect this technique this framework being used in some other new problem also so these are two things that you'll have to improve on to make sure that your practices are more efficient right so even in, when you go to gym and stuff you would you would have heard about form right if you just do randomly this way there is going to be no growth right you have to do it properly very similarly when you are doing even practices for on for competitive programming uh, it's like just training your muscles of your brain right so you have to do it in correct form now there is no guide for this but then this is something i've experimented um, for like last four years of teaching so i've been teaching for a very very long time and uh, i have found that these certain things actually help improve the result quite drastically like people reaching let's say cf um, cm in say six seven eight months with proper regime right so there are three things that you can actually go for right one is curated lists of problems if you can find them two is copy blindly three is build your own okay now all of these things work in most other countries like china russia in these cases you generally have coaches of your college or you have trainers who kind of select the problems for you based on your level and based on high growth or high learnability of problems but i think in india that is generally missing right so let's move that option out if you have next thing would be some sheets and stuff now what i found out is most of these help to like give you a, on a guide way but then they are not like customized to some degree like they are not for you they are for everyone right and if there would have been a sheet which makes everybody like say reach a x level rating then wouldn't everybody be at that level so sheets work to some degree for like picking out good problems but then uh, it's not customized so how can vivek i customize for my own level my own practice at this point in time okay so this is going to be what the question that we answer in this particular video and i'll teach you a very interesting thing that i suggest most of my students and uh, this is something that has been working for folks mostly in the 14 15 1600 rating range for icpsc camp we are anyways training people in the range of 1000 to 1200 less than 1000 to 1200 rating range now if you are somewhere in 14 15 like on those ranges also even below as well this is something that you can add to your practice right track what you do and select what you do right so first thing is that how do i select problems vivek what i need to solve now generally you so give a contest you realize that this is a prob topic that you're weak on you can select problems of that that topic and solve for some time that is fine but in general you do random practices right because you need to practice your brain on detecting topics and solving them so how do i practice my general recommendation is there are two types of practice one is diffused one is focused right so in uh, India you generally sit f in uh, for colleges and you are in college and you want to practice uh, say on code forces so there are two things one is like you either sit for three four hours and you just code and think about and solve problems as if you're practicing in the similar setup to con contests and the third is like you have seen the problem you just think about it loitering around every here and there right so there are two types of practice uh, there is different pra different things that you can do for both of them number one let's say you are doing focused practice right so the rating range that you set over here is let's suppose you are 1400 so the rating range i will set is 1300 to okay minus my rating minus 100 okay to my my rating plus 300 or 400 i generally set plus 400 because i want to get those extra techniques being learned that might help me solve the next problem also okay so i am 1400 plus 400 will be 1800 so this will be the rating range in which i will practice and i'll apply this and you get random questions in this list right okay and what you can do is you can randomly pick any question over here what i generally do is i suggest is go to some random page page three to seven because it's not recent enough so that you have seen it already and then it's not old enough that it's no longer relevant so pay, go to a page and pick up any 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 problem that you want to okay but just looking at problems doesn't help when you are starting your day if you want to practice certain problems let's say you want to solve two problems what i do is i go to this and create a new sheet okay so you go to google sheet create sheet dot new you create a new sheet what i write over here is this simple template i'll link this down below okay this is what you need to do for all your days right that hey um, you can also add a simple column over here date on which date you are solving this so when i see over here i just think uh, i may be 
can think of only four three problems today okay that i don't get time more than that so i'll open three problems okay i'll paste it over here this is the template i'll link it down below all of these things i'll paste these things okay this one is one this one is two this one is three okay now what i'll do is i'll just sit down and solve these problems i'll sit down next i'll i'll close the problem set i don't care about it Today's my target is to solve these three problems. That's it. Okay. And obviously the solve status as, as of now is no. Right. So you want to change once you have solved it. Okay. So this is a very, very simple sheet. You can design for yourself. There is nothing much to do in this. Right. And then you start, solve, start looking at problems one by one. Think about it. Take that duration time. We can talk about that in a separate video. But solve it. And then like... Were you able to solve it on your own? No. Uh, if you see the tutorial, then no. If you if you solve it yourself, then yes. Because the problems which you couldn't solve yourself, maybe you learned something new in that, and that's what you should focus on even while you are while you are revising, right? Say for ICPC or for uh, any other place, right? Any other competition. So um, let's say you solve this problem, you mark, you go to that, think about it, solve it, and then you come back, you mark it. You could you could solve it yourself. Great. Uh, maybe this was some string problem i'm just writing some random name uh, what did i learn so you, you should write about whatever interesting thing you learned in this problem sort of your notes right and you can put your current date today whatever the date is next problem you could not solve yourself but then you learned with the tutorial and then solved it so then what is the topic let's suppose it's it's of maths mostly and what is the new thing that you learned that okay i cal i learned to calculate and choose our modulo some non prime number maybe some some something that whatever you learned over here so you write that over here right very very simple thing in actual like when i'm teaching student in easit i generally recommend them to even follow more breakdown of this because that helps them to revise later on uh, building frameworks is what we focus on but this is something that you can do at the start nothing much of effort simply starting out this way okay and this is something that you can follow for every day once you're done with this you're done with today's practice uh, sometimes like you also want to go for diffuse practice which is like i don't have time to sit down but i, I have classes and stuff but i'd love to think in classes so just go over here this time i'll 1400 and 1400 i'll take 1500 to 1800 okay and then i'll apply i'll just pick two problems which i haven't solved okay and i'll add them to my sheet on the next day this is something i've not solved this is something i have not solved and uh, then like i'll i'll just close the list okay close the list and then open the sheet and open the two problems like for, forget about the problem set now open these two problems read it understand the problem what it is asking me for right Re go ahead and read the problem that hey this is what it is asking me for uh, okay i understood it next i read this problem also i understood it and now your task is to go do do the rest of your day come back at night and then code these two solutions right if you could figure out the solution yourself thinking all across your day that's good enough if you couldn't then look at the tutorial you have already thought across your day okay so this is diffuse practice this helps you build acumen beyond focused practice which is thinking abstractly and connecting dots right so it helps people to improve much faster so if you do this this will also be helpful but again it's not mandatory like this is something that you would want to do for even faster growth okay so that's pretty much the tips so you now have a sheet which you can later on refer to you can name your uh, practice sheet so now you don't, don't need to rely on any sheets ever. You can just pick your own problems. Now this is again, if you rely on somebody picking problems for you or there is a sheet that you are following, you can pick problems from there also. But what I find is like there is tons of like sheets which have like hundreds of problem of dump dumped there. So there is not much of use of that. So focus on three problems a day, two problems a day and that should be good enough, right? So this is there. Um, and I think this should be enough for improving on your code forces, right? And I think like what you should do is like you should also follow some of your friends. Like uh, what we have built in ICPSC, right, is CPSC camp is basically build this leaderboard. So you can build a leaderboard for, with your friends, right? And you can see uh, that, okay, if people who are starting in, let's say, the 500 to 100 newbie zone, right what is the type of rating growth they are getting so like 
tracked across contests how many how much rating have they gained how are they performing are they absolving or not you can add your friends even on code forces and you can see these things so you can see these kind of rating uh, you can see these kind of leaderboard for your own friends build a group practice in that right and uh, like you can use sheets too like if you're on the camp i think a lot of people in the camp would be seeing these videos so use the practice sheets these are hand-picked problems and if you solve it it will mark green you will get three problems to solve if you solve these three things and then you sync it will unlock new problems so as you solve the new problems get unlocked there are only 50 problems that should help you to clock, uh, go through the next level and this is division wise division div to a b c d ladders right div to a will be similar to people who are starting out that should these 50 problems should ensure that you reach div 2b right so this is something that you can uh, have a look at so i think that should be it for this particular video i think i hope the techniques i mentioned made sense i showed you how to do these things too because i feel some people find it difficult to co like follow along uh, fo follow just the instructions so i thought let's do a follow along but if i can guarantee you if you follow all these things you will grow very very fast okay so that will be all from my side in this particular video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the green mode uh, but we'll me uh, meet again in the next video where i'll talk about few more things some people were asking me vivek uh, maybe like let's talk about debugging and how to make sure that i don't if I fail on a particular problem, if I get wrong answer, how to debug my code, how to debug other verdicts and stuff. So maybe we'll talk about that in one of our next videos, right? So that will be all for this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.